what volume of concentrated hydrochloric acid should be taken to dilute and diluted to produce 250 ml of 0 0.10 molar solution. Okay, so here, um, the trick here actually is the number of significant figures. Okay, so this is very important. Kasi um, 250 ml, if you notice, may dot dyan, di ba? So, may dot dyan. Ibig sabihin, how many significant figures? That would be the three significant figures. Zero is included dun sa ating uh, significant figure, the number. And, of course, yung 0 0.10 molar solution, how many significant figures? That would be two. So, dapat, the answer should be two significant figures. That's one. Now, how do we um, solve for the value? So, let's take a look at the solution. Okay, so we are given here M1 is 12.1 molar. Okay, V1 is, we don't know, V1. M2 is 0 0.10 molar and V2 is 250 ml. Okay. So, this is a dilution equation kasi yung 1, this is the original, di ba? Yung 12.1, the concentrated hydrochloric acid. What volume, so V1, would you take from 12.1 molar HCl to produce a solution that is 250 ml and the concentration is 0 0.10 molar? So that's M2 and V2 respectively. So now we set up this equation, M1 V1 equals M2 V2. We have V1 is equal to 25 over 12.5. So 0 0.1 times 25, that's easy, that's 25. Okay, and you just divide 12.1. So if you notice, okay, you don't need to really do the division dito. You need to approximate. Why? Because 12.1 is close to 12.5, and we know that 12.5 is half of 25. Okay, so 12 .5, uh, 25 divided by 12.5 is equal to 2. Pero 12, 25 divided by 12.1 is is should be greater than 2. Okay, so notice that in the problem, the least number of significant fig figures or digits is 2. So that's the correct answer is 12 point, uh, 2.1. Okay, so it's not exactly 2, but greater than 2. Pero dalawang significant figures lang. So if you want to be exact, that's actually 2.066. Okay, so 2.066. Pero since we only uh, need two significant figures, so the answer is 2.1. Correct answer is letter C at 2.1. Uh, 0 0.20 grams of NaOH is dissolved in 5.0 times 10 squared. Okay, uh, ml of water. What is the molarity of the solution if molarity is defined as the number of moles of solute per liter of solution? So molarity, we're given na yung equation or yung... Um, formula for molarity, which is moles of solute per liters of solution. So what is our solute here? Sabi dito, NaOH is dissolved in water. So solute is NaOH. That is the thing that you dissolve as a solute. So um, we have moles of solute. So first, we need to convert 0 0.20 grams into moles. Diba? We're given grams, convert into moles. How do we do that? We use the molar mass, diba? Because molar mass will convert you from grams to moles or mass to moles. Okay, and then we need liters of solution. So we are given 5.0 times 10 squared ml. So we need to convert ml into liters, diba? So that's um, 50 times, uh, 5 times 0 times 10 squared, that would be 500 ml. So in terms of liter, that is 0.5 liter. Okay, and as defined, molarity is moles of solute over liters of solution. Given the molar mass M and the number of moles N of a particle is N over M. Yeah, M over M, big M. And therefore, molarity is so yeah, 0 0.20 grams. Tapos, kailangan natin ng molar mass, which is 40 grams per mole, diba? So, we need this ratio. And using dimensional analysis, so ilalagay natin yung grams sa baba para mag-cancel yung grams. So, 0 0.20 grams divided by 4 grams okay, to make it moles and then over 0 0.5 liters. Okay. So how do we uh, do this? So 0 0.5 is just one half, di ba? 0 0.5 is one half. So pag meron kang one half dito, ano yung trick? Pag meron kang complex fraction, if you have a complex fraction, 
sa denominator, one half, what you can do is flip the fraction. Okay, you flip the fraction so that yung nasa baba na fraction, one half, yung two, ay mapupunta sa taas. Okay, just flip it. So the two here goes up. Okay, kaya two times 0 0.2 will give you 0 0.4. Okay, and then, ang natira na lang sa fraction is, um, the denominator is 40 divided by 1 or equal to 40 lang. Okay, so 0 0.4 over 40, that is very easy, that's 0 0.01. Okay, so parang 40 divided by 40 is 1, pero meron kang dalawang, signific uh, dalawang decimal, so we need also two decimal places. So that's 0 0.01, that's the answer. Okay, so the question is, ilang significant figure? How many significant figures? Dito sa NAOH, 0 0.20 pounds, this two significant figures. 2 and 0 are significant figures. And dito sa water, sa volume, 5.0. So how many significant figures? That's two significant figures. So we need two significant figures in our answer. So correct answer is letter A. Okay. So letter B is the same unit, pero kulang siya ng significant figure. Same value, pero kulang ng significant figure. So, that is not the correct answer. Okay? The acceptable answer, the best, is letter A.